So now let's go ahead and make another section for uh, housing insecurity. And uh, I'll add a couple of questions to that section. And then I'm going to have another class for the survey. So the survey will have a collection of sections. And then each section will have a collection of um, questions. So let's start here and create a survey class which will have a title and an array of sections. And basically the code is going to look pretty much like this. So I'll start with that. And this is going to be an H1. So that's what I'm going to have instead of this. So let me go ahead and get rid of that. And I'll change this to survey. So h1 title h1 and then for counter in sections dot length result plus equals sections sub counter to HTML. So I tell each section to convert itself to HTML. And then each section tells each question to convert itself to HTML. And the result is one big blob of HTML at the end. So now here, what I'm going to do is I'll say var section one is equal to this. And then I'm not going to do the rest of the questions in demographics because it would serve no educational purpose to do so. But what I'll do is create another section and put a couple of questions in there. So let me scroll down to housing information. And the first question in housing information, what type of housing do you currently live in? And this is going to be a multiple choice because you're only going to select one, but with an other. And I'm going to juggle this around. So I'll move the homeless over to here. And uh, yeah, that looks good. All right, so move this over. And this is question 11. So that's a new multiple choice question other. And I'll call that current housing. And then the question is this. Maybe I should call that housing type, current housing type. How about that? And then an array of options. And here are the options. And then get rid of the other choice, homeless. Tab, tab. Close off the function call. That's question 11. And then question 12. Let's see what we have there. So is your living space rented or owned? So this is just a multiple choice with two options. So that's going to be a multiple choice question. And that's rent or own. Housing ownership. And 
And then just two options here, rent and own. I can, this is short enough, I can put the whole thing on one line. So let me go ahead and do that. Meh, it's a little long. We'll go ahead and do that. There. So there's question 12 and question 11. And then section two is new question section. What's that called? Housing information. And that has question 11 and question 12. And then we're going to return a new survey called housing, you know, it's PCC housing and security survey. And that has section one and section two. Good, so that's all the data I need for now. And let's go ahead and reload F12. And then this time survey will be create survey questions. So I have an error. Make sure, oh, I didn't save again. So save, reload, console, there. So let's try survey.2html. Got a good blob there. Document get element by ID survey dot enter HTML is equal to survey to HTML. So PCC housing insecurity survey. This is multiple select with other multiple select short type in and then here's the housing information section current housing type, radio choices with other, and housing ownership with just radio choices. Good. So now the survey wants to have a submit button at the bottom. So result plus equal input type equals, oh, should be single quote here. Let's put an ID on it as well so we can attach a click listener. Reload. Oops. And then now at the bottom, I have a submit button. So now I need some code that's actually going to do that stuff I've been doing from the console. So what I'm going to do is uh, define an init function. Actually, I won't even bother with an init function. I'll just make an anonymous function this time. So window add event listener load. It's going to run the function. And the function is going to make a new survey object. Work 
like so. And then it's going to display the survey questions. Like so. And then it's going to add a click event listener to this submit button. And I'll create a function called submit. Right now, submit is just going to log to the console. OK, so that should be all the glue I need. Let me go ahead and reload, and my survey appears. And if I hit the Submit button, Answer Submitted. So that's everything for the display side. Um, next, we have to actually gather up the results that the person has typed in and then do something with them.